Assalamu alaikum. From among the names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Al Warith, the eternal inheritor. This is because Allah will inherit everything completely. He is the maker in the first place, He is the owner, and unto Him everything will not only return, but He will be the inheritor. Inna nahnu narithul arda. وَمَنْ عَلَيْهَا وَإِلَيْنَا يُرْجَعُونَ Pointing towards that particular name and quality of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He says, We indeed are the ones who will inherit the earth and whatever and whoever is in it, and everything will return to us. So if you notice, everything has an expiry date. Besides Allah, Allah was there from before the beginning, and He shall be there after the end. For us, subhanallah. And this is something we will not comprehend just yet, but we need to know we are witnessing people coming and going, the most powerful from amongst us. What do they leave behind? They leave behind a lot, but they are gone, helplessly gone, totally helpless. People tell you as rich as he was, as powerful as she was, and as much as they had, they could do nothing to save that life. Why? It's Allah showing you who is in charge, who is the creator, who is Al-Warith, the ultimate inheritor, is Allah. And whatever you've left behind, you found it on earth anyway. Who put it there? It was Allah in the first place. Today we look at the value of the things that we have on earth. All of those things are from the same earth. And Allah says, none of it qualifies to go into Jannah, to go into paradise. None of it qualifies because it's all part of the creation of this world. Everything belongs to Allah will return to Allah. The billions of species that Allah has created will all return to Allah. He is the ultimate inheritor. Al-Warith. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the ability to understand His greatness. Aqulu qawli hadha wa sallallahu wa sallama ala nabiyyina Muhammad. Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim الرحيم الم